In this notebook, I have the 15 things you must know before moving to Columbus, Ohio. And you're gonna to wanna to watch this video until the end because if you can't handle every one of these facts, you might regret your move to Columbus, Ohio. Let's get straight into the video with number one, and that is the cost of living. The cost of living here in Columbus, Ohio is affordable compared to the major metropolitan areas that a lot of people who watch my videos, such as California, Denver, Colorado, Seattle, Washington, and Los Angeles. Angeles, California, but Columbus, Ohio is getting more expensive. But in terms of everyday items that you will spend money on directly, such as groceries, gas, healthcare, doctor's visits, all of that, Columbus, Ohio is still really affordable compared to those other larger metros that I just mentioned. Number two, let's talk about the housing market. I know a lot of you watching this video are probably wondering, can I afford to buy a house here in Columbus, Ohio or the surrounding areas? And the answer is yes. If you're looking at median home prices here in Columbus, Ohio. It is actually below the national average. So buying a house here, whether that's a primary resident or an investment property, you're going to be able to afford more house than a lot of other areas that I mentioned that are more expensive across the United States. A lot of people come here and they are surprised what their money can buy them in terms of housing. Just a real quick story. I was on a phone call with a friend who lives in California. They bought a ranch home, three bedroom, two bathroom home for $680,000. With that being said, they also had to put an additional $200,000 dollars into a renovation and if you put nine hundred thousand dollars into a house here in columbus ohio that house is going to be very very nice so your money goes a lot further when it comes to buying a house here in columbus ohio number three is the job market this is very important because if you're moving to columbus ohio you're going to want to have a good job and you're going to want to know that there's going to be some economic stability in columbus ohio for years to come and columbus ohio has one of the most robust and diverse job economies economies in the entire nation. One thing I think is very important to know about the Columbus, Ohio job market is that no one industry represents more than 18% of the entire job market. So it's very diverse. So if you're coming here, whether you work at a corporate job, you're looking to start your own small business or whatever industry you're in, Columbus, Ohio has something for you and you'll be able to come in and make money right away and won't have to worry about one job industry failing than the whole Columbus Metro failing. That's not the case here, it's very diverse. In addition to that, a lot of people, including myself, didn't even know Ohio has the seventh largest economy in the entire United States. So there's a lot of money here in the city and the surrounding areas. So there's something for everybody, whether you're looking to start your own business, whether you're in the fashion industry, the restaurant industry, you're looking to start a sales company, you're looking to start a corporate job, like I mentioned, there's going to be a lot of job economic opportunities for you here. Next, let's talk about about the weather. A lot of people ask about what's the weather like? I hate winters. Should I move to Ohio? And I'm going to be honest, it does get freezing cold here in Ohio. The snow is a little bit exaggerative in my opinion, meaning there's not a ton of snow. Yes, we get snow maybe once, twice a year, but overall the worst that we get is really, really cold weather. So if you don't like the cold, you may not want to move here. Or if you hate the cold, just make sure you have a winter jacket or two ready to go when you move here. In addition to that, we do have all four seasons. So I personally love this because in the summer, I love to do my summer activities such as going to the pool, cooking out, playing outside sports. In the fall, I enjoy watching football, going to sporting events. In the spring, I like going outside, walking at the parks and just enjoying the spring energy, the spring vibes. Winter is a great time to get a lot of work done in Ohio because you won't be able to do much else. Number five on the list, let's talk about transportation. I know a lot of people are coming and wondering, how do I get around? If your area has a subway system or anything like that, we do not have that here in Columbus, Ohio. But what we do have is called Dakota Bus Transportation. And it's just a busing system. Um, I personally have never used it. I know friends that use it. The only downfall of using the bus system here, I heard is that it can take very long to get from one route to the other. But if you don't have a car and you don't want to invest in a car, that's the next best thing. Obviously, there's Uber and Lyft here. If you just live downtown and you just need to go to work from your house and it's only a few miles, that might be the best thing for you. And in the summer, you can always bike. But transportation is something that could be improved here in Columbus, Ohio, in my opinion. And I know there's talks of improving the transportation system here in Columbus, Ohio. But right now, it kind of sucks. Something you just have to deal with. So 
Don't complain if you're gonna move here. I just told you everything you need to know about transportation. Next up, let's talk about traffic. Here in Columbus, Ohio, like any major city, traffic is always an issue. But here, it seems like traffic is really, really bad. With the growing economy, with all the new projects coming to Central Ohio, there is always traffic, especially on the freeway. So whether you're taking 270, 315, or 71, there's always gonna be some type of traffic on the freeway. And they're actually building a lot of bridges on the freeway right now. One on 270 and another off of 315, which is a multi-year project to build the bridges. So some lanes are closed. Sometimes they will have exit closed. So traffic is really bad, especially towards the downtown area around that four, five, and six o'clock prime time traffic time. Most places, Columbus is no different. So just expect delays. So if you leave early for work in the mornings and you have to be there at eight, don't leave your house at 7.30. Leave at seven, give yourself enough time to get to work just in case there are delays. Delays, and this only amplifies if the weather is bad. So traffic is an issue. Leave early is my number one tip. Number seven on the list, we're going to talk about entertainment. Now, Columbus, Ohio is not known for entertainment. We don't have an NBA team, but what we do have is an amazing college football team. Of course, Ohio State, the best team in the country. So if you're moving from Michigan, I would still love to help you buy a home, but we may have a little bit of disagreement on that category. In addition, though, we have the Columbus Crew. They actually had a game yesterday. Messi was in town. They lost, of course, to the go. We also have the Columbus Blue Jackets. We also have the Columbus Fury, which is a new women's volleyball team. So in addition to college sports, Obviously, Ohio State is the big entertainment if you're a sports fan here. But we also have high school sports are huge here in Ohio. And some would say Ohio has the best high school athletes in the entire country. And I might tend to agree on that. So besides sports, entertainment wise, Columbus has the Columbus Art Museum. We also have a ton of different festivals from the Columbus Italian Fest, the Columbus Coffee Fest, the Dublin Irish Festival. There's a ton of different festivals. Um, in addition to that, there's the Grandview Hop and Grandview. Um, there's the Ohio State Fair. Um, if you want to travel an hour or two, not too far from Columbus, there's Cedar Point and Kings Island. Those are top rated amusement parks. Also in Columbus, we have the Columbus Zoo, which is really fun. They have zoo light at the zoo, obviously, in the winter, which is just a bunch of Christmas lights. It's a really cool thing to visit. Zumbezi Bay is right next to the zoo, and it's a really cool water park. So in terms of entertainment, you have a lot to do here in Columbus. I just hope they bring a few more things here to Columbus to make it that much more attractive for visitors and people that live here, which I know they plan on doing for years to come. Number eight, let's talk about the legal differences. And when I talk about legal differences, I'm talking about the use of gun laws, the use of marijuana, and the use of the alcohol sales. I know this is a little bit controversial, but every state's different. So if you live in Texas and you plan on moving to Ohio, we don't have quite as friendly gun laws as Texas. Or if you live in California, you know, and you like to smoke marijuana, just know the laws before you move to Columbus. That's all I'm saying. Alcohol laws, those are pretty much the same everywhere. But every state has their slightly different um, legal laws for certain recreational activities. I'll leave it there. So just make sure when you move to Ohio, you know the difference between where you live now and what Ohio laws are. So one final warning, just know your legal differences if you're moving from a different state. If you have any questions, reach out to me directly. The ninth thing we have to discuss is community and lifestyle. So when you move here, Columbus, Ohio has a ton of diverse neighborhoods and different types of communities. So when you move here, you need to move to a community that aligns with the lifestyle that you want to live. Meaning if you like to be downtown near all the bars and all the breweries and the restaurants, maybe living downtown is perfect for you. But if you're coming with living with a family and you value that um, suburban lifestyle, definitely don't move downtown. You're going to want to move to one of the awesome suburbs like New Albany, Dublin, Gahanna, Worthington, or Westerville because that's going to fit you a lot better than living in the heart of downtown Columbus. So just make sure wherever you move that it fits your lifestyle. So if you like to live next to a coffee shop, don't move to a place that there's not a coffee shop nearby. And no, I'm not talking about a Starbucks, talking about a local coffee shop. And on top of that, make sure you move to an area that's going to be convenient to you. If you love to work out and there's not a gym within 45 minutes of you, you might hate living near that place. So just make sure whatever neighborhood that you pick fits your lifestyle that you want to live. If you are considering moving to Columbus, Ohio, I have created a free relocation guide for moving to Columbus, Ohio that goes really in depth. It is free and it is in the description below for you to download. Number 10, let's talk about 
being a sports town. Columbus, Ohio is a huge sports town. Like I mentioned earlier, we have some of the best sports in the entire nation from Ohio State football to high school athletics to professional sports teams. If you love sports, you're going to love Ohio. It's ingrained in our culture here in Columbus. Ohio State football fans are crazy. Some would say we're a little biased, but I just say we tell the truth all the time. We've never lost a game, prove otherwise. And if we lost to Michigan, I can't remember it. But if you love sports, you should definitely consider moving to Columbus, Ohio. Number 11, we have to talk about the amazing food scene here in Columbus, Ohio. So if you're considering moving here and you're a foodie like myself, this is the place for you. There are a ton of amazing restaurants. No matter what type of food you are looking for, Columbus, Ohio has it for you. Whether you like traditional American food, whether you like Mexican food, Asian food, whether you like like Chinese food, no matter what type of food that you like, Columbus has it all. A few of my favorite restaurants here are Kitchen Social, Town Hall, Butcher and Rose, Valentina's. These are all my favorite restaurants. Too many to name them all, but the food scene here is amazing. We have high-end restaurants. We have casual restaurants. We have brunch places. Everything you can think of, Columbus, Ohio has it all. So if you're a foodie, you should definitely come try a few restaurants and reach out to me directly for my recommendations. Let's talk about number 12, and that is the safety and the crime rates. No, I am not allowed to talk about specifics. Being a real that's a really great area. But what I can say is if you're looking to move here, do your research on the area that you're moving to. So if you know you're relocating to, let's say, New Albany, Ohio, or you're in the heart of downtown Columbus, do your research. Neighborhood Scalp, that's my favorite um, website to get crime reports. Um, and just research and learn a little more about a neighborhood. You can literally see everything you need to know. Like I mentioned, I can't get specifics, but that's very important. That's usually the first question people ask before they move about an area is, is it a safe area? And I can't directly say that, but Neighborhood Scout is going to be the site for you to go look at that. But let me know if you need any other website or uh, information on crime or statistics about crime. I can get those over to you directly. Number 13 on the list, let's talk about taxes. I'm actually going to look at my notebook for taxes because I don't want to mess this up. The state income tax in Ohio is anywhere from between 0% to 3.68%. In addition to that, the local income tax here in Columbus is 2.5%. In addition to that, there's a sales tax statewide that is 5.75%. And in Franklin County, there's a 5.75 tax. So taxes here in Ohio are relatively expensive, especially property taxes. So this is a shock to some who come here when they get their property tax bill and realize how much property taxes are. So just something to be on the lookout for. Number four, is Columbus, Ohio has a growing population. This is one of the most exciting things for me is to see the growth that Columbus, Ohio has experienced over the last three years and the growth that is going to happen to our area over the next three to five years. I heard that 70 people a day for the next five years are going to move to Columbus, Ohio and the Central Ohio area. So, that is a ton of people, which means that the area is going to continue to grow. That means there's going to be a lot of economic growth, a lot of job growth, and a lot of different opportunities for everyone involved. In addition to that, a growing population means there is more talented people coming to the area, which overall will be good for Central Ohio. Um, a lot of people are worried that live here now that the population is going to be too much, but I don't really see that as an issue where it could affect housing prices a little bit if more people come and and they do not build enough houses. Housing prices, like we talked about earlier, may continue to rise steadily. So that is my one concern that I hope they address is building more houses quickly so that they can that it can support the amount of people moving to the area. But otherwise, the growing population, in my opinion, is a great thing for the city. The last thing we're going to talk about are the childcare costs. I know a lot of people that I help relocate ask about childcare costs. And yes, in Ohio, just like everywhere else across the United States, childcare costs are out of control and absolutely bonkers. Nobody can afford childcare, which sucks, but it's the reality and the average cost of childcare here in Columbus is $10,000 to $13,000 per year. So if you have kids, just plan to have a budget for childcare. It is expensive here in Columbus. That does not make a difference no matter where you're at. So just keep that in your budget and plan to have a good amount of money set aside for childcare. If you are considering moving to Columbus, Ohio and you have any questions at all, 
all, feel free to reach out to me at my cell phone number, which will be right here on the screen and in the description. So if you can handle all 15 of those things, you should definitely consider moving to Columbus, Ohio. It's a great place to live and I hope you can visit and fall in love with it just like I have. And if you like this video, you're going to love this one too.